Hey guys, it's Welcome back to another live game day. Today we are praying, praying, playing, praying, whatever, both the same. Praying to the gods we have a good game playing. Grenade. This is where if I had a bit more prepared, I would with the mushroom cloud and all the special we don't we don't have the budget for that shit. Uh, we're we're pretty we're we're pretty bare bones on this show. This channel is is yeah, yeah. It's uh what can I say? I'm lazy. I did have a special effects guy, but I, I fired him because he put pineapple on my pizza, so. You know what other channel also doesn't have any special effects people working on it? My second channel, a full gameplay channel. Every other day, a full gameplay just for you. Go subscribe, I'll put it in the description. Not enough people know about that channel. Maybe if I hired a special effect geezer, people would. Who knows? But I'm telling you about it now. Grenade Moo Moo. Bit of a popular one among you fellows. Why is it popular? Well, that's a good question. I don't think I can answer that. Enjoyment is subjective, but I can't tell you what it's about. Grenade Moo Moo. I call it Grenade Moo Moo <laughs> because it's all about throwing yourself in there, blowing yourself up. Usually you blow things up around you as well, but it's essentially full AP and Moo Moo. Or something similar. So that's what we're playing today, guys. I will show you my runes in a second. Let me just clear this camp here. We'll go for the red buff as well. I'm playing versus a Kha'Zix. Now, if I've, uh, if you watched my video about playing versus off-meta junglers, you'll me you will remember that I said if you're playing, if you're playing an off-meta jungler, ban Kha'Zix. Because anytime you play versus an invade champion or just like a really strong 1v1 champion, you are in for a bit of a dick slapping. And a Moo and a Moo Moo can definitely get his dick slapped by Kha'Zix. That's for sure. So. We want to be a little bit careful, so I'm just going to ward up for myself there. Just cover myself. And we should be Gucci. I'm just going to take this and then we can go ahead and show you my runes. So here are my runes, guys. Bottom left of your screen. Bam. Right there. Right here, guys. We've gone for the unsealed spellbook this game, but you could go for electrocute as well. Maybe in the spirit of Grenada movie, electrocute would be a bit better. But I, I think that this is just a really good page for a movie. Um, also, on top of that, yeah. also, uh, what was I going to say? I can't remember what I was going to say. But yeah, we, we, we've, we've basically gone for the old, the classic. Unsealed Spellbook for lower smite cord. Yeah, this is what I was going to say. Also, you, you can power through the jungle a lot faster with this rune setup, which actually enables Grenade and a lot better, because if you are, I mean, I would say if you're playing like standard Moomoo, you should definitely do this page as well, but... Grenade Mumu, you want a bit more gold. You want to be able to f farm the jungle a bit faster because you, you know you need you need your items, you need your damage items. So having a lower cooldown on your smite is really nice. Anyway, now I haven't gotten a point in my queue because I wanted to just go through the jungle faster, but maybe that was a mistake because now these guys are really low. I'm coming in. Can a minion die for me here? Can that minion... Just this one minion here? No, nope, it's not going to die. That's fine. We won't push this though. We'll just be here to last tip. I mean, this is already pushing into us, so we're just going to freeze this. Hopefully Bard lets me get these minions though, because I mean... I know I'm not the AD carry, but, you know, I still would like the gold, actually. You're still the support there, mate. But yeah, either way, we just don't want to push that minion wave out, so... Alright, good shit. Let's go ahead and take the Scuttle Crab in the river as well. I might be able to loop back around. Oh, Scuttle Crab's dead. Never mind. I might be able to loop back around for a play here. I'm guessing these guys don't have summoners, right? Because they just fought and all that shit. So I might be able to get in here. And if Bard or Varus play a bit greedy, then they're going to die. So let's take a look-see. As long as we don't push too hard, this should be okay. I think we may have pushed a bit too hard here, though. Alright, here we go. There's Kha'Zix. Nice. Alright, cool stuff. Do we get that Brawn Flash? I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Let's keep on farming, farming, farming here. Pre-6, Amumu is not that great, so we don't want to force things pre-6. 
Ideally, you could just power farm and chill out until you hit level 6, which is more or less what we're doing, honestly, this game. With just a little bit of stuff thrown in as well. But we can go for the chickens into the Krugs here, maybe look topside as well, and then that will set us up nicely for a recall to the... Uh, to buy and then get blue buffers, it will be respawning. Now, this top lane is in a really bad spot right here. She's two levels down, and it's a really, really volatile lane. Like, Camille can just absolutely blast this Aurelia here. I mean, she honestly, she doesn't want me to go top. She just wants to She just wants to farm. Like, if we go top, Camille... Camille is very hard to gank anyway, obviously, because of her E. But she just wants... Like, no, you don't want me here. Like, trust me, you do not want me to go top right there. I can stop her from diving you. I'll do that. You know what, I'll be nice and I'll do that, but you just want to farm under tower. And Aurelia is one of the best under tower farmers anyway because of her Q, so... I mean, look at this, look at all this, look at all that free CS he's going to get here. This is perfect for her, she doesn't want me here. She'll pick up all this all this free CS, she'll get close to level... She'll probably get level 6 off, of the, off this wave as well, actually. And she's not going to get dove, so nothing to worry about. Look at that! There you go. All right, blue smite, bam. Amp tone, bam. There we go. Ideally, I would record a bit earlier here, obviously, so I could get in time, get to my blue buff in time to take it as it spawned. But you know, I just wanted to sit around top a little bit there. No problem. So blue smite, runic echoes. That is the core of the grenade and moo moo. Sorcerer's shoes and haunting guys following up afterwards. Then you can do a few things depending on how you want to build him. If you're playing standard and Mumu, I would 100% recommend for you to go Cinder Hulk into Abyssal Mask. But we're not playing standard Mumu this game. And then maybe get like Ninja Tabby as well there. But if you're playing Grenade and Mumu, <laughs> let's fucking go. Alright, can we slide in here? There's no Blast Cone. I'd need to get a... Ooh, okay. There's one. Give me the second one, baby. <laughs> there it is. So a cheeky flash cue to set that one up. I'll take all the minions as well, mate. That's my tax. Good shit. Beautiful. So what, like I said, ideally just play around. Play around your level six. Nothing, nothing special. Nothing sexy. And then we hit level six straight away. Straight. Ugh, can't speak. Straight away. Run into a lane. Do I want to get mid here? The gold card setup would be nice, but I don't think I should get mid here. Could go for my red as well, but I think I'm just gonna. Oh, he's going. He's going for my red here, isn't he? All right, we'll go for dragon then. I can trade dragon for red buff. That's that's fine. Just gonna say that Kazzy's at my red buff. I don't really expect any of my team to go for him, to stop him. I don't think it's necessary, really. Just let him take it. It's fine. I, w I, I would just say be careful if you are that Aurelia. Because you don't want Aurelia to die to a gank there. Yo, that is unlucky as shit. Let's try and CC chain this guy. Fuck. I didn't have as much damage as I thought I did. That was actually so unlucky. That was almost perfectly played as well, like seriously. Oh, did that hit her? Did that scramble her though? My ult's up in 8 seconds. If I have my ulti up, I can kill him. Oh, at least you got the big chicken, mate. <laughs> Don't know what you thought was going to happen there, but there you go. Alright, no ulti, but I'm feeling this shit. Let's go. Okay, I've peed a lot of times here, guys. Good shit. Nice engaged lads. They're gonna have to run away. Bit yeah. See, bit bit of a bit of a predicament there for me. Do I get the kill participation and steal that kill? Or do I let Ez take it and then lose the lose the assist? 
I did I did the nice thing there, which was to just let Ez take it, but I don't know, man. It's a selfless play. I don't know whether it was good. I'm going to recall after this camp. You don't really want to be sitting on a lot of gold, guys. Sitting on a lot of gold is just wasted gold. I've spent all this effort getting generating the moolah, the wonga. And I've not spent it. What's the point? It's not good. So, spend your money. Not, I mean, that, I should emphasize, big asterisk here. That's a League of Legends strategy. Not necessarily a real life strategy. Spending money is okay. But saving money is pretty good as well. Saving money, not so good in, in League of Legends. Imagine if you, your your life, hello. Okay, that was a bit, that was a bit, whatever. Imagine if your life had a 60 minute life expectancy. Imagine. Then you probably wouldn't want to save your money. You'd probably just want to spend it. I don't know what that was, but whatever. Soda down. Okay. Still got her, I think. I can tank. I'm good. Excellent. I still had Zonya's there as well if I needed it. But yeah, I, I, I'm guessing you don't have a 60 minute life expectancy. And to be fair, even if you did... What about your loved ones? Do you want to leave them something? Or maybe you can buy something for them to inherit, you know? Maybe. Just saying. It could be. It could be a thing. Do we want to push this bot? I mean, I'm going to soak up this bot lane because there's a crap ton of minions under the tower here. We should push this and get this. I mean, Ez isn't going to miss any of this because he's dead. And we can just deny it from the enemy team. And I push pretty bloody fast, so... Juked by the minion. Get that under tower. Good shit. Uh, I don't really want to recall until I can get like 1500 gold, honestly. Okay. Don't really feel it. Because like, I, I want to get Haunting Guys as my next item. And I can't... You can buy components to Haunting Guys, but... It's, it's an Amped Home and a Ruby Crystal. <laughs> it's not like a Blasting Wand or like a... Like a... What's it called? Needs to large rod or something. Yeah, I'm gonna go mid. I just want to take these chickens. Chickens are so fast from. Look at that shit. I got level 10. That was all I was looking for there. Okay, I've got my Zonyas. TF has no ultimate, but Bard is coming through. Bard has no ultimate either. Easily get cop blocked here by a Nivea wall, but also easily die. So I've got to be careful. She's running back around. She's trying to juke me. No worries. There's the slow from the Bard. Get the Q onto the wall maybe for the stun. She's being. Oh, that was ballsy. I don't know if I agree with that one, Kazix, mate. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's a risky jump in there, friend. Still crying all over this brawn. Haven't cried over a burly man until I had to pay extra. No, get him! Good shit. You want to do that shit? Mate, it's 40 seconds away, you dickhead, honestly. Who pings that shit? <laughs> Who pings that? Seriously. Interrupting my recall. Gosh. That's a reportable offence right there. In fact, I may even just take a screenshot of that one and send it to Riot Support so he can get insta-banned. I don't know, lads. That's, uh... Whew. Anyway. Stay hydrated. That's very important. Hydration is the key. Mm -hmm. Unless you're trying to die of thirst. In which case, I would imagine hydration probably is not the key. In fact, I would imagine that is actually quite counterintuitive to what you're trying to achieve. If that was what you were trying to achieve. But I'm not trying to achieve that. In which case, hydration is the key. So, do I show bot side here and just come? I haven't like fought my topside jungle in so long. I'm just playing around bot side so hard. 
And I, I think I I think I want to try and get a first blood tower. So uh, I'm, I'm just going to show bot here. My obviously isn't up for 30 seconds, which really sucks. But we want to, we want to get the tower. Can I, we just, can we just force the tower down? I don't think we can. Oh, this is really awkward. 15 seconds on my ulti. Yeah, this is good though. This is a good flank. She, yeah. Who's that? Camille or Olivia? Neither. Let's get the tower here. I can dive. I've got my ulti now. Beautiful. I'm not going to need my ult here. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Yeah. Well, fucking hell, I'm godlike. <laughs> Alright. This tower's going to go down. Excellent. Eh? So, first blood tower is a pretty decent objective to go for. Gives you a lot of gold. Definitely want to prioritize that if you can as a jungler. And important distinction about how I went about this this game. You can look at your own map and see, you know, what, what, which of your towers are going down. And through that think, oh, I need to go topside because if I don't, we're going to lose first blood tower. My Q was on cooldown, I swear. But instead of doing that, just look at... I mean, you can, you can try and defend, or you can try and go hard. Fuck. I could have killed him there. Didn't realize he had flash up. Should have just used my Q straight away. Alright. All good. We'll finish off our Leandries here. <laughs> Shad looking really comfy. Finish off the Leandries. And then we will... What do I want to go for here? Looking at the enemy team. Zonis would be a good choice. Do you want to get Zonis? Yeah. Let's go for the old Zonis land. So. We've already got the stopwatch as well. So that's going to give us a few gold off of that one, make it a bit cheaper. Could go for for Riley's as well here though. Riley's is really nice with Amuru, especially with Andrews, because when you cry on people, you slow them down. It's like they're taking pity on you or something, and they want to comfort you, but they're still kind of running away from you. Yeah, that that, that actually hits a little bit too close to home. Let's go for the Herald here. Do, 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 Hmm. We should probably, we should go top after this, yeah, let's go top. We can dive this Camille. Uh, and we can take this top tower pretty free without needing the Herald. And then we can put the Herald to get the next tower. No, we should go we should do this. I mean there's two bot, one mid, one dead. One dead. So the only person who can be here is Kazix, and we last saw him bot side. He could be here, but Either way, this this is free for us. I mean, yeah, so he is bot side. This is legitimately free for us. And we can probably just keep going, honestly. We can just keep going. I've still got my ultimate up as well. If we catch uh, Anivia, then we just kill her. <laughs> Mate. You guys are pussies. I'm out of mana! Nice. Yo, this Herald play is legit. We, we Like, one minute ago, we had no tower top side. And now they have nothing. Good shit. Alright. Don't want to go for the Zonias. 
I kind of don't want to go. I kind of want to go for something a bit more offensive, but I mean, Zon is, is pretty bloody offensive still. Or do we just go death cap? Fuck it, let's just go death cap. Usually, when I say fuck it and then buy an item, we lose the game. Nine times out of ten, that's on Sejuani. When I'm playing versus like a full AD team and I go Frozen Fist, like I have a really good early game, which is, yeah, perfect playing versus a full AD team. I have a good early game. You know, I've, I've got my core build. I'm like, you know, I could go, I could go for Frozen Heart here, or I could get Frozen Fist. Iceborne Gauntlet, and I'm like, fuck it. Let's go Iceborne Gauntlet, man. I'm already shitting on everyone anyway. And uh, yeah, I do that, and then I I just lose, like straight away just lose the game. I lose it in five minutes of buying it. It's pretty sad. Hopefully that's not, not the case here. I mean, the whole bloody point of going to my is to go anyway, right? So, ouch. Okay. What did I say, by the way? What did I say? Though I kind of asked for that, didn't I? <laughs> I definitely, I definitely asked for that one. Okay. I'm still one thousand gold off. I chunked him, lads. I chunked him. Ooh, this actually could be. This could be bad, but I think it's good. If I were here, I would. Ha I would be having a wet dream right now. Don't want to just TP in. Okay, I'm doing it, lads. I'll use my unsealed spell book. Fuck it. <laughs> oh my god, I've hate this so bad. No! Come here, bird. No way. <laughs> that is the ultimate unsealed spell book play right there. Full on. Full on. The old TP flank from the jungler. Let's fucking go. Oh dear. Classic. I need to buy a death cap. Can't do anything else here anyway. They're, they're going to respawn and defend. Don't have a minion wave either. We'll get the death cap. Good shit. How much gold do I How much AP do I have now? 400 AP. 23 minutes. That's pretty good. Three items. Not bad. Spell pen boots as well. I'm temp I'm honestly tempted to go <laughs> like Lich Bane or something. Just like full empowered headbutt. But I don't I don't think I'm gonna do that because I mean is all about your ultimate like AoE damage and all that stuff. I don't, I don't I could do it. I mean I could do it. I could go like full assassin Amumu and do that, but I don't know. No. Ooh. Oh boy. You know what the worst thing about this is? My ultimate. Don't don't wall me. Fuck, my ultimate's on a 10 second cooldown. Oh shit. There I am. I'm striking a pose, lads. I'm striking a pose. <laughs> Amumu tried to go home, but he failed. I was proper feeling that. If I had my ulti, I was proper feeling that. But I can't. I definitely can't kill. I can't 2v1 without my ult. And you saw that I had... Uh, my best chance really there was just to... Wait, what? Hello? Did I just act, did I just like double click my spellbook? I wanted my smite back. Yeah, my best chance to survive that is just to run and wait for my ulti cooldown. Yeah, this Kallus is actually a higher level than me. Is that surprising? That's a little bit surprising. Not... Not incredibly surprising. Just a little bit. Okay, he's two... To being two levels high is surprising. I have more kills than him, four more assists than him. Oh, fuck my life. Help me, team! Okay, will he flash on me? Can we get him? Guys, what did I say? I, I, I bought this bloody death cap, and what's happened? I started inting. I bought a death cap, and I started inting.
All right. <laughs> Fuck my life. This is why you go. I mean, th this is the 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 style. I mean, sort of the style of grenade and move. Normally, for me to die like this, I've jumped into the enemy team. That's why everyone's focusing me. Not that I've face checked people who are trying to flank my team. That's just that's just suiciding. But it, you know, it is life and death, and more specifically, the death of Grenade Mumu. You're very bloody squishy. Alright, I've got my smite back now. Want smite because it's a bit more uh, damage, but also, if we're going for a Baron, which we definitely can do, then we need, need the smite to secure it, so. Okay. Do I need to go Void Staff? I know he's got Hex Drinker, but I mean, they've got Mercs, Hex Drinker. This guy looks like he might be got. Is that Stone Plate? I don't know what that is. It could be Stone Plate. Or he's just getting like random components. Are these level 2? Nope, they're level 13. I just do that much damage to them. Wait, on it. I don't think. They oh, they are on it. Okay. Five seconds. No! God fucking damn it, Ez. That annoys me so much. That really annoys me. Ah, oh, he's not like the thing is though. That's he didn't. He doesn't do that on purpose. But okay. Rule of thumb, guys. Rule of thumb, right? When it comes to Baron plays like that. Don't throw like things like Ezol or just kind of random damage abilities through the Baron if you're not trying to steal it. <laughs> because if you like Ezol comes through there at like two five two thousand health, two thousand five hundred health. Because all all it does is it throws off the jungler who's trying to steal it. That's all that did there basically. It just made it uh, too hard for me to steal that one. You can throw abilities through the enemy champions, but not through Baron itself. Anyway, three deaths in a row lands. Impressive. Let's fucking go. But we're, we're Gucci. We're very close to having our ultimate up as well, though. If I had my ulti, that was going to be absolutely delicious. But I didn't, so. Also, side note, if you're playing Bard, ult Baron. Buy some time. Good idea. Right, we need a Relia here. We're pretty strong. Chase him down. He's dead. You can get him, Ez. You can get him. <laughs> Good shit. Nope. I'm not risking that one. Bard has ult, so he could save me there, but I do not trust that he would. So I'm just going to have to flash. I got my unsealed spellbook, so the flash cooldown is actually not that long. I don't know why we're sitting bot. We don't have minions here. Just go mid. We, we literally have no minions. We can't go bot. Much better off trying to go. Oh, that is so low. Oh shit! <laughs> Look at that damage. <laughs> Fuck it, hell. Nice. Good shit, lads. I've also, side note here, lads. Something I've not done very well this game is my uh, my farm. I, I kind of let my farm slip a little bit. Because I, I got so bloody fed that I just started running around fighting people. And, yeah. At, at the expense of me farming. And you can see that I've fallen pretty far behind Kha'Zix now. Which is... Not great. I mean, when we destroyed Kha'Zix in the lane phase, or when, when you destroy an enemy jungler in the lane phase, or you, or you have a better early game than him, you really don't just want to give him, you know, you, you don't really want to fall behind him as the game goes on, like, yeah, he shouldn't, shouldn't you don't want to give him free, a free pass back in this game, basically. Alright. I want to get level 16 here as well. Level 16 gives me Rank 3 ultimate, which is beautiful. Really good on Amumu. Uh, I saw Kha'Zix was half health. We need Ez. Uh, 
There's the Zonyas. Going to get a few control wards as well. He actually might be okay here. He botched the stun, but he might be okay. He's buying time. He's buying time. I'm getting closer. Oh, fuck. Have I bought time? No. Fuck, I should have let him die. I should have let him die. And that bloody Hex Drinker shield as well. Oh, nice. He's inting. Kill him. Oh! He dashed away. He pussied out. He could have just eat in or attacked him and he was dead. Fuck my life. That is not good. Let's go, TF. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> now, keep going. Don't jump away from this one, mate. You got this. You got this one. Nice! Yes, you jump in. That's exactly what you should do. Alright, we're losing inhibitor here, but... Getting three kills for zero is, is pretty good. I mean, we can go for Baron Dragon here as well if we want to. Oh, my God. I was, what, 8-0? and oh, Now I'm 11-5. and five. <laughs> Fuck my life. <laughs> Legit. After being 8-0, and zero, I've gone 3-5, and five, basically. Is he actually going in? If Varus ults you, mate, and Camille comes in, you're dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, you guys are actually faker. Okay, ignore me. Ignore I said anything here. These guys are actually faker. Legends. That gets, that gets a well played from me. Bard is a god. Sort of. Alright, so we killed two people. Let's do something with that. What are we going to do with it? Inhibitors. Okay. Aurelia is dead. No, that's not a good time to go for... Okay. You know what? I probably shouldn't have even gone for Dragon here, honestly. I probably should have just ran, ran down mid. Yeah, okay, I'm feeling this. Oh, maybe not, actually. That's a TP in mid as well. They're going to try and end the game. <gasps> I missed my ult. Boosted. Camille's coming in. I've got my Zonyas. Nope, she's mid. I don't think I get out of this one. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh my god. Not bad. I mean, there was no route. There was no way I was getting out of that one. I have zonies, I know. Uh, but for a two minute cooldown, I know I'm not going to get that one. Oh dear. Just would have delayed my death, basically. Okay. So, I think I need Void Staff last item. These guys are, I don't know, man. I'm just not doing much damage to them right now. But do they really have that much MR on them? Not really. I mean, Varus doesn't even have Wit's End. Actually, they don't even have MR. There's one There's one more Mammortius, and that's it. I don't need I don't need Void Staff. So I guess that means, do I go for um, Banshees? If I go for Banshees, then I can avoid getting the tag. I could go for Rallies, actually. Hmm. I'm missing a bit of CDR. Banshees, Rileys. Okay. I need to start pinging my teammates. There's zero reason for them to be up there as a two man. Zero reason. There's nothing to get there. Alright, let's go with the Ez poke, shall we? Is that our strategy here? He's doing a pretty good job of it. I don't really want to engage. Like, I could jump in and get a sexy ult, but I, I really don't want to, honestly. I mean, I do I do want to. <laughs> I really want to, but I, I shouldn't, I should say. Can we get that ward, Ez? Oh, Bard's on the case. Oh, 
Alright, TF and Aurelia are up. If they stay, we kill them. That's the plan now. Ooh, they're staying. Okay. Wait, this are they staying or not? I'm a bit confused. They're sort of staying. <laughs> Got rid of the super minion there, that's good. Not staying? I think that would probably be the smart choice, honestly. Where are we going? Your inhibitor is respawning soon. Yeah, they're recalled. Cool. Okay. Let's buy some items then. Oh, if we're grouping, let's group. Like, I would only be able to get like a Fiendish Codex here. I think we're gonna go for the Banshees. But I'd only be able to get like, not that much worth I worth of items. Definitely not enough to justify us splitting up at this point in the game. Which would be an absolutely awful idea. <clears throat> I need some farm. I'm just really nervous, honestly. I'm just really fucking nervous. What? They're just so far pushed up. If they were, like, we have no vision, man. If they flank you, you're, you're dead. Shocking. Shocking lack of... By the way, here, guys. At this stage of the game, I'm barely even looking at my screen. Like, like my character. I'm just staring at the minimap right now. That's all I'm really doing. I don't, because I'm like, there's nothing to, like, it may, so it may look kind of weird, where I'm just like running in a circle, I guess. But, I'm really, I'm really just like, it's, it all comes down to where they show on the minimap, and like, that, that's what's important right now. It's, what I'm doing isn't really that important, because, you know, I don't need to do anything on my, on my person. Are they going to stay pushing top? That is the question. We have, we have really bad vision. Does he not have... He does have sight stone. Okay. This could be a throw. Ah, fuck. I should have aimed for Bard there. Uh, Braum there. I could have killed him. I wanted to try and miss Bard and hit the Kha'Zix. I should have just aimed for Braum. When I say, when I say Bard, I mean Braum, by the way. I keep mixing the names up. Okay. Maybe I could have flashed in actually as well. Yeah, I should have flashed in there. I've got Zunians. I'm being a pussy. Alright guys. We're going to fight the 4v5. Could work for us. Could be the end of the game. Either way. Oh my god. He just eat over the wall. Whew. Ballsy. Probably warded here. I'm just going to ping it. Because we should, we should assume that is warded. So let's play like it is. Be careful, lads. We don't, we don't want to force this fight. Just chill out. TF's got his ultimate up. He'll be here soon. No need to force it. Sorry, guys. The last 10 minutes of watching this game have been boring as fuck. I'm well aware of that. Don't mind losing Dragon. If we win the fight, it's worth it. <laughs> I'm hovering over the Zonya's key here. Wait, do we... Can we end here? No. Oh, yes. Nice. Wait, can we can we do something with that? Nice. If we get her especially. Wait, Ez and Bard also recalled? Hmm. Thirty seconds. Can we just get an in here, please? Fuck my life. Come 
I need to I need to organize my team much better here. I'm not pinging them out enough and all that shit. I need to tell my team I'm like guys, we just killed fucking four people. <laughs> like, I can't believe we killed four people and didn't even get an inhib, you know. But part of that is on me. Because I didn't tell my team to go for an inhib. I can complain and moan and bitch and be like, oh my team never does the right thing, but ultimately if I can control that shit, then why wouldn't I? Why complain about it when I can instead fix it, you know? Can we go here? Oh shit. If he's by himself, he's dead. I don't want to face check anything. Okay, I'm face checking. I'm really far forward here, but I, I, could, oh, I could get such a good ult. Yes. No. Tempted to, is it worth just flash ulting one person just for a pick? Do you guys think that's worth it? I really don't know. Ah, oh, fuck. Nice. Wait, not nice? Hmm. I got like a four man. I felt like, well, I think that was a four man ult. Alright, not the best. This is why you want Banshee's Lance. That bloody downtown, over the wall, Kazakh spike that slowed me by like 80% because I was isolated into the, into the Anivia queue. Hello, Shad. Man, I wish this game could end in like 20 minutes. This game is... Uh, you guys must be so bored. <laughs> Kill him. Red card. Alright, who's coming up? Everybody is coming up in... Similar time as me. Aurelia, mate, let's... I'm feeling this shit. Let's fucking go. I'm gonna jump on that... Jump on that Varus and we're gonna shit on him. Let's go, Grenade and Momo! Fuck yeah. That's what Grenade and Momo is all about, lads. Triple kill. Cool. Yeah, good job, Aurelia. <laughs> good job, Aurelia. All you, baby. Imagine being able to do that in a team fight. If only I was not boosted and I could do that. Okay. Now we killed a bunch of people here, but Kazix is spawning and it will make it 2v2. Can we just go top here? I mean we we have the we have the benefit of TF Ultimate as well. We have to remember that. We can use TF Ultimate to our advantage. Big wave bot end, can we? We do have a big wave bot though. I think we should go for it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stay. Stay. She stayed. God bless. I've got my ultimate up. Camille's probably going to try and backdoor. I need to recall. Actually, no, fuck it. We're going to win the game here, lads. We're going to win the game. I missed my cue. No, I didn't hit it. Oh, shit. He's gone in. Fucking hell. Ah, I'm stuck in the bloody Anivia icy caress of death. Oh, God. Fuck. Yo, is TF... Does TF feel this? I actually feel this. If TF feels this, I feel this. Yeah, we have to defend as well. Mate, this game is so ridiculous. Holy crap. How much damage did the tower do to me there? 500? Yeah, Anivia ulti did 1300 damage to me. Ridiculous. Whew. If TF doesn't get back here, we could just lose the game through minions. Someone needs to... We need to get back. What is he doing? Please don't be here, Kazix. <laughs> Hello, Shad. 
Save the base. Oh god, he actually died to minions. That's actually a big deal. That's a big deal. We might not be able to save the base anymore. Hello, Shadwell. I think we're okay, though. Actually, we might not be. Because, I mean, if they just group us five and, and walk into our base, we're fucked. We just got a stall or pick someone out of position. Either way, I don't really want to force this if I don't have to. I think we lost, right? Fuck. Woof. I have to say I deserve that. I could have hands down carried. We this should have been like a twenty minute victory, but yeah. I told you. What did I say? As soon as I buy an item like that, I just lose the game flat out. All there is to it, I swear down. There's something about these kind of items that just that just happens. Uh, at least I got an S. What's the damage like here? Holy shit! Look at that damage. Yeah, Kazix, that was good. You definitely, you, you you were the catalyst of the comeback there, Kazakhs, mate. Good job. Yeah, the duo queue, the duo queue, they did it. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more. Check out my second channel too. Goodbye from me, goodbye from Shadwell, who's left his bed and is now walking around, but yes. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you in my next.